Hi, my name is Justin Gordon. I'm a JetBrains technical evangelist. Today, I'm going to show you what's new in RubyMine version 6. Here's some of the highlights. There's quite a few performance enhancements. These are going to give you a smoother overall experience. You can now have multiple modules in one window. This is great. Now you can work on, say, your Rails application and a dependent gem all at once in one window. We now support Zeus. This is a great time saver. We now support Stylus files. Stylus gives you crisp CSS. It's an alternative to using SAS that you might like. There's some newer factorings, such as finding duplicates and also inlining methods. There's more Ruby supported, and also there's debugger gem support, which is an alternative to RubyMines debugger. Performance. Here's an example. Clone the Rails repository over at github.com slash rails slash rails. This is the Rails source code. Clear the caches and restart. Let's compare RubyMine version 5.4 and version 6. Wow, what a difference. Version 5.4 takes a whole minute to open up the project. Version 6 will open up the project in 18 seconds. This is on a modern, this is on last year's MacBook Pro fully loaded. Your results may vary. Multiple projects in one window. What's the advantage of that? Well, the example I'm going to give you is I'll add these two projects to one window. All of my examples are all on GitHub, so you can see some of the code changes I made to do these examples. I've got Sample App Rails 4, that's Michael Hartel's Rails tutorial program, and I've also got the Will Paginate gem, which is a sample app for Rails 4 references. So what are the benefits of having multiple projects in one window? You can do searches, debugging, version control, etc. across the projects. Let me show you. I've got RubyMine open to the Rails tutorial sample application. This is using Michael Hartel's Rails tutorial. Let's suppose the tutorial references the Will Paginate gem. I've changed my reference in my gem file, so that Will Paginate references a fork of it, Justin 808 Will Paginate. And I've got a branch of it, Rails on Maui Will Paginate. Now, how do I get this code into RubyMine so I can work, at, work on both of these projects together? What I do is I go open on the directory. I find will paginate. I pick choose. Here's the special secret sauce in version six. I don't say open a new window. I say open in current window and add to currently open projects. Click OK. Super. Now I've got will paginate mixed in with the sample app Rails 4. One of the most useful features of having multiple projects inside of one window in RubyMine is that you can do find and path across projects. I'm going to search for the word paginate. Maybe I want to look in that word across all projects, or maybe I want to pick a specific project. I'll pick all projects first. I get quite a few results from both the Will Paginate project and also my own project. My own project is, does not, is not prefixed with the full path. The Will Paginate project is. Let's try the search again without will paginate. So this time I'm going to pick my own project, sample app Rails 4, and I'm going to see where I use the word paginate. Much better. Now I can see the few places in my own project. Another feature of having multiple projects instead of one window is when I enter a file name, I can pick files in either project. For example, here I'm looking for star underbar spec. So these are specs that are in either project. The next feature I want to show you is Zeus integration. Zeus integration is awesome. With Zeus integration, everything goes faster because Rails does not need to be fully loaded every time. For example, rake db migrate status on my machine takes 1.26 seconds. If you run it with Zeus, it takes 0.41 seconds. If you time rake-t, that's 1.11 seconds. If you use Zeus, it's 0.43 seconds. Nice. It's critical to have the correct gem version when you want to use this feature of the RubyMine. The correct gem version you need is 0.13.4.pre2. Any versions prior to this will not work. If you want to know more about the Zeus project, check out the page on GitHub. There's also a Railscast on Zeus where you can learn more about it. Let's take a look at what's needed in RubyMine. I've added the gem 0.13.4.pre2 to my gem file. After that, you want to run bundle install. Then it's quite important to make sure you've got the right version of Zeus. The way you can figure out if it's the right version of Zeus is you can go in the command line and you can check. 
then I can say gem list Zeus. Super. That shows I got the right version. Then I go back into RubyMine and I go tools, run Zeus server. critical that you look and make sure that the last line is all green. Once you've done that, everything in RubyMine will work with Zeus if it makes sense. For example, let's run a rake task. Let's run DB migrate status. Super, that ran almost instantaneously. You can run tests through Zeus as well. They'll also run similarly fast. Let's bring up a test. Let's open up the user spec and let's run this test file. Boom, that was super fast. I'm sure you're gonna love Zeus integration once you get it set up right. But be patient, you need to make sure that you've got the right gem version installed. Refactorings have been approved in RubyMine version six. A new refactoring called inline method has been added. This will allow you to take an existing method and inline it. The extract method refactoring has been improved and now finds duplicates. This is extremely handy. I'm going to show you an example in the MicroPost controller. It's a bit of a contrived example, but bear with me. What we've got here, we have two places that MicroPost params is used. And notice that here's the method definition, MicroPost params. First one I'm going to show you is inline method. I hit the keystroke for inline method with my cursor on the method name. It's going to inline all invocations and remove the method. Super, now the method's been inlined. Look at this, we've got this bit of duplicated code duplicated right there with that bit of duplicated code. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a method from that bit of code. I'm going to call this one micro post params. Aha, RubyMind found an additional code fragment that's duplicated. Sure, we want to review and replace it. Let's click on the S yes button. Here it is, highlighted in red, right there. Yes, let's replace that. Sweet, now I've replaced both instances of MicroPost params. The next feature I want to show you is Stylus support. What's Stylus? Stylus is basically what CoffeeScript is to JavaScript, Stylus is to CSS. Stylus format is now supported in RubyMine just like SAS is supported. This gives you syntax coloring, syntax checking, CSS completion, color pickers. You can learn more about Stylus at this URL. And you're going to want to make sure you put the Ruby-Stylus in your gem file if you're using it with a Ruby project. In my example on GitHub, I've got all the code that you need to make Stylus work with the Rails tutorial. For example, in the gem file, let's take a quick look at the difference. We add the gem Stylus. You can see the old file right here. This is the old custom CSS. If you take a look at this, You've got all your normal CSS. You've got braces, you've got semicolons, you've got colons. Variables are declared with a dollar sign. Let's take a look at what they look like in Stylus. Well, here's Stylus. In Stylus, there's no braces, there's no semicolons, there's, well, there's no colons, colons are optional. It does use white space to figure things out. So you do have to be a little bit careful with regards to that. It's a bit like CoffeeScript. We have in Stylus, these nifty color pickers Take a look at this. I'm going to change that dark gray and I'm going to make it darker. You've probably already used this in RubyMine because this has been available in the SAS editor. But in any case, I'd like to show it to you. There, I changed gray darker to a really dark gray. And as you can see, it changed the numbers right there from dark gray to that. Another feature we get in Stylus is, just like the SAS support, is this completion. Let's say I want to type M-A-R-G, now let's complete that. Hit the completion key and look, Pretty neat, I've got all my CSS completions. Are you gonna to wanna to use Stylus in your project? Well, that's up to you. I'm pretty happy with SAS, but if you do like Stylus, it's now supported in RubyMine. The next feature I wanna show you in RubyMine version six is Ruby version support. We now support all the different Ruby managers by supporting the .ruby-version file and the .ruby-gemset files. For example, in your Ruby-version file, you might have something like Ruby-2.0.0-p247. Your .ruby gem set file might look like Rails 4. So then you open up a project with .ruby version and .ruby gem set files, and RubyMine will automatically switch to that Ruby and gem set. How convenient. Once RubyMine opens up a directory with those files, 
you'll see this nice alert message that tells you that the proper SDK was picked up. RubyMine version 6 supports more Rubies. Here's a list of the Ruby supported. MRI all versions, JRuby all versions but the older versions have lower priority, the debugger gem. There is now support in RubyMine version 6 for adding the debugger XML to the gem file as well as the debugger gem because you might have people on your project that depend on the command line debugger. The advantage of this is that the RubyMine developers and the non-RubyMine developers can use the same gem file and use the same debugger. However, there are some disadvantages. Right now, this feature does not support Ruby version 2. Once again, the version 6 highlights multiple sub-projects, Zeus, Stylus, new refactorings, performance enhancements, more Ruby supported plus RVM, the debugger gem, all the sample code you can find on my GitHub site at Justin808 sample app Rails 4, so that could help you get set up with some of the things like Zeus and Stylus. Thanks again for watching, and I hope you enjoy RubyMine version 6. Develop with pleasure.